Each and every day, my team and I are helping folks move in to Maryland, and we absolutely love it. But today, we're gonna flip the script a little bit, and we're gonna look at reasons people are moving out of Baltimore. We're gonna give you the top five reasons. So stick around, you're gonna wanna hear this stuff. We're getting started right now. What is going on, everyone? It's Adam Taylor back again with another video all about living here in Maryland. Today, we're looking at Baltimore, Maryland, and we're looking at the reasons as to why people are leaving Baltimore, Maryland. And there's five critical ones that I want to bring to your attention here today in all of them. I kid you not have equal importance. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video because you're going to want to hear all of this, whether you're deciding on whether to move out of Baltimore or you're looking actually to come to Baltimore. You need to hear this stuff before making that decision. So number one, the biggest reason people are leaving Baltimore and the Baltimore metro area for that matter is because of retirement. And there's a couple reasons for that that we're gonna sort of peel back here. Number one, our weather changes quite a bit. So this could actually be kind of 1A here. If you don't like shoveling snow and the cold and can tolerate it, or you can't physically do it anymore, which many retirees can't, and that's why they're leaving, they opt to move out of Baltimore. Not only do we have the snow, but we have humid air that is like god awful to breathe. For goodness sake, today we are in a code red air quality alert and you shouldn't go outside. It's because the air is so heavy and it's got allergies or breathing issues. It makes it tough to do things. The second piece of this as to why retirees are leaving is Maryland doesn't have many retirees because the tax laws are not favorable for retirees to come here. Pretty much Maryland taxes you on everything. Heck, they tax the daggone rain. And retirement income is fully taxed. Our neighbors in Delaware, at least they give you a reprieve on some of your retirement income that you have. But where I'm seeing a lot of folks move to, and according to United Van Lines study that they did in 2021, folks, that was the number one reason why folks were leaving Maryland. And the question you may be asking is like, all right, cool. Where are they going? Here's what I'm seeing. And this is backed up by United Van Lines. Number one, they're going to Sarasota, Florida. And there's a couple reasons for that. Sarasota is awesome. And I had the pleasure of actually going down to Sarasota earlier this year and absolutely love it. Fell in love with the place. And it's like Maryland away from Maryland. And a big reason for that is because the Baltimore Orioles have their spring training site in Sarasota, Florida. So you saw a ton of Marylanders all over Sarasota. The second place that I'm seeing a lot of folks go to is neighboring Delaware, down to the Delaware beaches. Again, just as I mentioned, because of the tax laws being much favorable. So my friends, look, the first reason people are leaving Baltimore and Maryland for that matter is because they are retiring. Reason number two people are leaving Baltimore, it's because of corporate relocations. Look, things are getting back to normal here. And when the pandemic started a few years ago, people kind of hunkered down and said, hey, we're not moving, we're not going anywhere. Now that things are sort of, like I said, back to normal, you're seeing a lot more people go into offices, corporations, big corporations, like the Department of Defense, uh, Aberdeen Proving Ground, got companies like Lockheed Martin, Under Armour, and so on and so forth, bringing folks in, but yet they're also shipping folks out to different locations all throughout the country, and for that matter, the world. So corporate relocations is a big, big thing as to why folks are leaving the Baltimore metro area. All right, before we continue on in this video, look, if this is your first time to our channel and you're looking to learn all about life in Maryland, fantastic news, guess what? You landed on the right spot. We do videos each and every week talking about living here, working here, chilling here, and most importantly, getting out and enjoying the great state of Maryland. So if that is the information that you're looking for, look, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to give the little bell a click. That way you're alerted every time I put out another video just like this one. Now, as I mentioned all the time, my team and I, we are receiving phone calls, text messages, and emails from folks all over the world looking to make a move right here to Baltimore, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move, whether it's in seven days or 70 days, guess what? My team and I would love to help you out in your transition, but we just need one thing from you, and that's for you to reach out and connect with us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or fade us down with that smoke signal. Whatever you need to do, we've got your back. We're moving right here to Baltimore. Reason number three, folks are leaving Baltimore, and it's an easy one, because it's happening right in your own backyard, no matter where you are in the entire world. 
it's because families are expanding or contracting. The biggest thing that I am seeing here in Baltimore, and this is a typical scenario that I run into multiple times each and every month, is a young couple may have met in the last 10 years and started dating. A few years later, they decide to get engaged, buy a house, get married. And now they're in that phase of life where they want to start a family. And we've got a little one here and they want to move out to the suburbs to give themselves more space. Maybe they want to get a dog or, you know, just something to add to the family. But that is an everyday occurrence right here in Baltimore. But I'm guessing it's probably an everyday occurrence right where you live too. So families growing and or contracting is a big thing. Other factors that you need to consider on the family dynamic side is ailing parents. A lot of folks have to take care of folks that may have you know, medical issues and they suddenly have to leave or move out of the state. And then you also have the two that we don't wanna think about and that's death and divorce. But yes, guess what my friends? Look, they do occur. So again, reason number three, folks are leaving Baltimore. It's because of family changes. Real quick, if you are finding value in this video, it would mean the world to me and really help me out if you could do me one special favor. It's just by clicking the like button down below. It's the one that looks like a thumbs up just like this. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I wanna to continue to put out content just like this each and every day. And by doing those two things, you greatly help the growth of this channel. Now, more importantly, I wanna be a resource for you, okay? So drop any of your comments, questions down below. I'll take a look at them, see what I can do to best help you out and answer any questions that you may have. But also, there are a lot of folks that live right here in Maryland and they can chime in and comment as well and help answer your questions too. So with that said, my friends, I would greatly appreciate your help in growing this channel by doing those few things, but let's just jump back into it, get you the last two reasons people are leaving Baltimore. Reason number four, folks are leaving Baltimore, and it's one that I don't like talking about, but we got to address it because that's what I do here, okay? I talk about the uncomfortable things, and it's crime, my friends. Let's face it, Baltimore as a whole doesn't look good on paper to move to. There's no shortcutting it, trying to find a way around it. It doesn't. Now, the areas that we service, they are very desirable areas in and around the Baltimore metro area, and especially in Baltimore City. But crime is a real thing here, and it's a real issue. And the typical thing that I am seeing, and though this may not be a violent crime, it's still enough to get you scared. Somebody's car gets broken into, and stuff gets taken out of it, or the car gets stolen, and they just say, hey, you know what? I've had enough of it. I don't want to be in the city any longer and they decide to move out of Baltimore City. That is a typical instance that I have seen. Now, are there violent crimes here? Do people get murdered? Do bad things happen? Yes, and they happen every day. You heard it right from me. I'm not trying to sugarcoat this, but let me ask you this. Do these things happen in most of the larger cities here in the United States? I would venture to say yes. Okay, so does stuff occur? Yes, but sometimes it just freaks people out and they decide to move because of the crime that they've experienced. Reason number five and the final reason people are leaving Baltimore, it's because it is crushing your wallet each and every month. It is so stinking expensive to live in Baltimore City. Now with that said, each and every day, my team and I, we field phone calls from folks looking to move here from New York, Connecticut, Philadelphia, Washington DC, and they all think Baltimore's cheap. But when you stack up Baltimore against any other county in the entire state of Maryland, just looking at the property taxes alone, Baltimore City's property tax rate is more than double the next most expensive place to live here in Maryland. Now, that's just real estate taxes. Let's talk about other things. Parking, it's an absolute pain in the neck and a lot of times you have to pay for it. Car insurance. Car insurance rates in Baltimore City are the highest in the entire state of Maryland. Grocery costs, because there's a limited amount of grocery stores in the city, you're gonna pay more for food in Baltimore City. Utility costs, the water bills in the city, the city can't figure out what's going on with the water system and people will get $2,000 water bills. Yes, it is a common occurrence that does occur and people are just like, ah, I'm fed up, I wanna leave, it's too stinking expensive here, the city can't figure out what's going on, I want out. And that, my friends, is a big, big reason folks are leaving Baltimore. So look, there you go. 
Those are five reasons people are leaving the city of Baltimore. Now, if a move out of the city is in your future, or if you are considering a move into Maryland or Baltimore City, guess what? My team and I, we would love to help you out in your transition, but we just need one thing from you. We need you to reach out and connect with us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text message, send us an email, or best of all, schedule your one-on-one -on -one Zoom appointment with me by using the link down in the description below. Because as I always mention, my team and I, we have your back when moving here to Maryland. From Baltimore down the bay, all the way to the beaches in Ocean City, my team and I have you covered. Now, before you go, I want you to check out this next video right here. This is the next step and the next thing I really think that's gonna be helpful in learning more about life in Baltimore. So until the next video, my friends, have a great day. Love to catch up with you soon. Take care, bye-bye.